some people may see living by God's rules Am I saying that right? Some people may see living by God's rules are boring. Now, think about it. Think about the things you can do if you are living by God's rules. Think about the things you can't do if you are living by God's rules. Like, what are you really missing out on? <clears throat> Excuse me. What are you really missing out on? Yes. You can't have sex before marriage. Yes. You can't steal, you can't lie and do things like that. So are you telling me the only things that are fun are sinful? So going on a trip is not fun? That is not sinful. Going on a road trip is not fun. That is not sinful. Hanging out with a friend is not fun. That is not sinful. So how is it living for God is so boring? Like, why do you think in that way? Like, what are you missing out on? Are you telling me the sinful things are only fun? Are you serious? Let's talk about sex before marriage. I think there is, I think there are so many risks in having sex before marriage. I think it is possible to get infections, a disease, AIDS and stuff like that. Is that fun? Some years back, I was able to go to a major city in another country. And over there, at least for me, in some cases, it was very difficult. How can I say this? Back then, there were some men who could dress really well as women, if that makes any sense. And uh, back then, I would go to clubs and bars, whatever they are called, dance clubs, whatever they are called. And if you are like tipsy or drunk, and if you were to run into a man dressed up as a woman really well, I don't think there would be like, unless you do something, you know, other than that, I don't think there would be a way you could tell if you are already tipsy or drunk and you go out there and you see something that looks like a woman, you know, un unless you, you know, touch something. I don't think there would be a way you can tell 
that person isn't a woman. Yes, the Adam's apple and stuff like that, but there were some men out there that were dressed really well as as females. I'm telling you. So, to get back to my point, and I think I kind of forgot to my point, but what are you really missing out on? I think that sex before marriage stuff is very risky. Very, very, very risky. I would say something else about that, but maybe... I should not. Something personal, but whatever. <clears throat> stealing? Like, do you like stealing so much? Like, are you telling me you don't want to come to God because you want to steal all day, every day? Look now. I believe in this life we are going to reap whatever we sow. So I believe that stealing stuff will catch up with you. You may not get caught by the store owner or whatever, but something in your life may something in your life may happen to where it is going to cost you. I believe I made a video about something there was a store I went to and I went down a certain aisle I think and I saw a bunch of money I think it was like two hundred dollars on the floor man I picked that stuff up and I believe I placed it in my pocket to make a long story short Something happened to me to where I took a taxi and I think it cost me like 200 and something. Like maybe around the same amount I stole or probably more. So how did I gain by stealing? Please tell me. How did I gain by stealing? And I did some other unwise things and I believe for the most part, I reaped what I sowed. So what are you missing out on? If God is against you, if you do evil, how is a Christian life boring? Like, to me, in my opinion, living against God is to your disadvantage. What are you missing out on? Kevin, you know, I don't want to serve God because uh, in... In my mind, I just see it as restrictive and boring and, okay, tell me what you are missing out on. Is it sex before marriage? Is it stealing? Is it lying? Is it being mean to people? With all of those things, I believe you will reap what you sow. So if punishments will come to you, if you do evil to people, then what are you missing out on? Like, how is living in sin fun? When, listen now, <clears throat> when I was purposely sinning in the past, I think I was so bitter, depressed, hateful, angry, like, 
I think I was in the middle or in the middle, I guess, of happiness and let's say, excuse me, let's say I did not really feel happiness too much in my past. But in my mind, I thought that was the type of life I wanted. Okay. The way I am now, the way my life is now, I guess from an earthly point of view, my life is not as interesting as it was back then, but I have so much more joy or so much joy, I have, I am content, huh? I am happy. Yes, there are some things I want in life, but I am happy. The way I feel now, I believe I did not feel this way back then. I have peace. And I believe I did not have much peace back then. I believe I was so, I believe I was filled with so much bitterness, hatred, and anger. I'm telling you, and anger. I am telling you. So what was I missing out on? I used to think in the same way that a Christian lifestyle is so boring and restrictive and I guess old fashioned and stuff like that. But I think it was demons influencing me to think in that way. I wish I would have came to God sooner and stayed with him. Now, back in the past, I believe I would come to God, but it was like this back and forth thing. So I guess I can say I wish I would have came to God and stayed consistent in him sooner. But I was so worldly minded, I believe. So what are you missing out on? If you are trying to serve God, what are you missing out on? Like, if thoughts come to your mind, oh, you know, you could be having sex with this Asian woman, this white woman, you could be messing with this man or whatever else. You could be going around lying to people. Like, what are those things? Seriously. What are those things? What are you missing? Like, are those sinful things, are sinful things even worth it? I believe if you had, I think if you were to write down on a piece of paper the sinful things you like and write on the right side, the punishments you will receive, which I believe you will receive punishment for sin. So I believe if you had that outlined perfectly, I think you will find it is not worth it. I am somewhat as a cheap person. I don't like... <laughs> Maybe that is not a good point, but let me stop here. God bless you.